Hey guys, Brian here with RC Customs. So, basically, uh, this is a little update video about what's been going on with everything. Um, I know I haven't really posted a video since I did the intake on the Ranger, and uh, just yesterday I posted uh, a video recorded probably three weeks ago of the Mustang going on the lift. Um, after after that video, after I filmed that, I drove the car back home to my uh, my apartment, and as I was pulling in the apartment complex, uh, they heard some rod knock coming from the engine bay as I was pulling in, and uh, I immediately pulled in the spot and heard it knocking very aggressively, 100% um, spun a bearing. Um, <clears throat> So at that point, I was like, shit, okay, just spun a bearing. Um, great, now what do I do? And for the past three or four weeks, I kind of been, uh, I was pretty upset. You know, I worked extremely hard on this to do something so simple as a head swap and a cam uh, upgraded cams and everything and i was feeling really discouraged and everything but um you know i i went back to work in the shop and everything and it i kind of came to the realization that this shit happens that okay so what the car spun a bearing now what do i have to do to move forward and uh i feel like that's the best course of action is just going to move forward from this and build the car like i was on the fence of you know what let me just part out the car i'll sell it oh my god here's a mess let me just part out the car and i'll sell it and um you know whatever i'll get something else you know but what i'm thinking is uh i'm about to ship out so if you guys are new to the channel or don't know what I do for a living. Um, I'm a merchant seaman, so I'm a marine engineer. Um, so basically what I do is I ship out on like a boat for two, three months. And then I have two, three months off on vacation. And that's when I do all my work. That's when I do all my car stuff is when I'm home, when I'm on vacation. So it's a pretty interesting life. Uh, I could probably explain more about what I do and everything if that's what you guys want to hear about. But um, so, yeah, I, that's basically the only time I have to work on the cars is when I'm not shipped out. And to be honest, this this whole time of me being home, uh, I feel like it kind of wasted it. I definitely could have did way more work on the car. I was just... Uh, Basically what happened was, if you watched the previous video, the timing and everything got messed up and I was like, fuck, you know, whatever. I'll get to it in like a month, a couple of weeks, and then a couple of weeks turned into a month and all that stuff. But I really do want to grow this channel and everything. So when I get home in October, um, hopefully I'm getting home in October, <laughs> um, I really want to try and grow the channel and do some more interesting stuff so stay like i'm going to be doing more stuff on the ranger like and i'm definitely going to be trying to record everything i do on any car that i touch from now on um like i did the ranger like i did the blow up valve i i didn't record that i did my exhaust i didn't record that like i work at a shop where i do head swaps and we do vortex and all this like I, it's a mustang tuning performance shop and if you check the instagram you'll see that like we are doing cool stuff um at that shop but i just don't record it but i don't know the video just cut out but um yeah i work at a cool mustang tuning performance shop where we do vortex and stuff and we do cool stuff and i don't record any of that and i feel like that's a major disservice to you guys so i'm gonna be trying better to record I'm going to be trying to do like weekly uploads and stuff like that. Um, stay on top of it. Like I love doing this. This is so much fun for me. Like I love working on cars. I love doing modifications of cars. I love 
everything about him. Um, and, you know, I feel like something didn't click kind of in my head when I was home this time. Like, hey, I got to fucking finish this car. <laughs> like, you know, it's been sitting for six months and now it's going to be nine months because I'm leaving, you know. But it was pretty awesome having it running, so I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna be pulling the engine back out and uh, putting it on the stand and uh, be doing a key complete rebuild. And then for my Ranger, I have some stuff planned, like the leveling kit I wanna do, and then I have some body stuff I wanna do. I'm not really going too much in performance on the Ranger, um, mostly because it's still in factory warranty and the transmissions, the TR80s are not super reliable. So I'm kind of nervous about it. Uh, detonating and exploding and then not being covered under warranty. So I will be doing some body stuff on it, um, some exterior modifications, um, wheels, tires, all that stuff. Um, and then I also have something planned with my friend. If you follow the Instagram, you'll see we just picked out a Hemi motor, um, a 5.7. We're going to be uh, tearing that down, building it completely like completely and then um i just purchased this kit from the tuning school for i know a bit about efi tuning but i want to learn more and more so i purchased uh the tuning school uh hemi uh system so i can learn more and more and i'm going to be taking you along with me for that journey of learning how to tune this car and we're going to be tuning it on terminator x and possibly swapping the 57 hemi in a Dakota with the Terminate, the Holly uh, Dakota swap kit. So there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, and then if you follow the Instagram too, I also have a Honda motor that has been sitting on the stand for two years that, you know, I was going through my old photos and I was like, this has been sitting here and this was going to be my original project until I bought the Mustang. And I really want to get back to that. I love Hondas. Honda a Civic was my first car and it was my favorite car. I, I love that thing. And I got rear-ended and it got wrecked. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting back to the Honda stuff and I'm going to be doing more and more stuff, you know? So just stay tuned. Uh, sorry that the channel has had very infrequent uploads and everything and uh, you know, I really want to stay dedicated to this. I want to make RC Customs kind of a brand. I kind of want to, you know, document my journey going through the automotive world like that. I think that's super cool. I think it's super cool to share. I remember when I was younger watching videos of guys doing simple modifications and I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. I want to do that. So I am going to stay really dedicated to this. Unfortunately, I am leaving for about two to three months, but um hopefully you guys stick around and can see some of the cool stuff i plan on doing when i get back so uh thanks for watching and uh stay tuned like comment and subscribe if you like what you see on the channel and uh check out our instagram um and yeah so thanks a lot and thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon